Okay, Nigeria. The UK police say Nigerian women should stop calling the police for the Nigerian man or call the police on Nigerian men. Let me repeat myself. The UK police say they are tired. They are now tired of receiving phone calls from Nigerian women based in the UK calling the police on their men. It's tiring. You know, usually when uh, somebody expresses themselves in that way, it means they are not used to this. Like, stop calling the police on your man. Stop calling us to come arrest your man. We are tired. Actually call us when you have some serious issues, you know, some serious problems that we can attend to. Don't call us every time you have a little issue with your husband. We are tired. We have more important and dangerous things to attend to. Like some serious action, serious domestic violence, serious murder, crime drug dealers you know stuff like that you're taking time from us and resources from the police office police force of the uk because you're calling us all the time for your man come arrest my man i'm calling the police on you the uk is tired london metropolitan police have sent a warning lesson to you nigerians to stop reporting your husband for these people to go to this level you know that they've had enough they are tired Different five cases, different cases, different reports on daily basis. What is it? What is it? You think because you have the power, you have the right. As a woman, you live in the Western world. Any little misunderstanding that you had with your husband, you already call the police. Things that you can settle amicably among yourself, you're already calling police. These people said they've had enough. You should stop reporting, stop coming, stop calling them for every little thing that doesn't make sense. I don't know how to feel about this. My Nigerian people. Mm, Nigerian. Why do you say Nigerian? I'm Nigerian. Is it Nigeria or Nigeria? No, no, let's just be clear. Because I don't see an end. You say Nigeria or Nigeria. Don't please don't say Nigeria anymore. Okay, anyway, let's get back on track. The UK police say they don't want to be called for Nigerian issues anymore. And uh unfortunately, because uh, a lot of Nigerians live in the UK, or fortunately, perhaps, I don't know. There was this man who is a policeman, originally from Nigeria, who had a meeting. He called the women, the Nigerian women based in the UK. Come, let's have a meeting. And he spoke in Yoruba, which is a language spoken in Nigeria, one of the main languages. He spoke to them saying, please don't call the police on your husband anymore. We are tired. We can't handle this. You know, resolve your issues in your house. Find a solution with your husband. I think we need to change our orientation. Those of you that feel like oh, your husband is not important, go back to the roots. See that man, even though he's not doing anything, being at home, sometimes you might, be, you might want to talk to your child, but your child might not want to listen to you, you might want to listen to his dad. You might want to listen to his dad. If the dad say, stop it, that time I stop it. But maybe as a mother, you're there on your own, you say stop it, you just say, what she say? But when the daddy say, stop, Stop. Now we understand if you have an issue with your husband and it's critical, you need help. Yeah, for sure, you need to call the police on that guy if he's violent, menacing, or anything like that. But he went out and came back at two o'clock in the morning. You call the police on him so they can throw him out. No, we're not about that life. Even British people, white people, don't do that to themselves. White women don't call the police on their men like Nigerian women call the police on their men. This person who tries his best, okay, this police officer from Nigeria, originally from Nigeria, uh, tried his best to try to pass a message. I think he was trying to say that uh, you need your husband in the house, okay? Your husbands are very necessary. Your fathers to your children are very necessary. Because sometimes when a woman speaks to the child, especially when he's a teenager, you know, teenagers are very difficult human beings. He may not listen to you, especially if it's a boy. You tell him, come in the house. Oh, no, I don't want to go. I'm telling you to go study. Oh, no. Because he's a teenager. You know what they do. But when the husband say, hey, little boy, get in the house. There's no three seconds waiting. In most cases, if it's a strong father, he's getting in the house. Go to bed. In two seconds, he's going to bed. And this man, this gentleman, this Nigerian former Nigerian, whatever, originally from Nigeria, policeman, was trying to relay that information, which I believe is very simple to the ladies. Please do not call the police on your men every time. You know, actually call the police for something that's meaningful. Matter of fact, just because you live in the UK does not mean you don't need a husband anymore. 
And this is very sad because it takes us back in somebody intelligent I used to listen to. A lot of white women go to university, they acquire degrees, they get capabilities so they can link up with their husbands, so they can be a team and build something sustainable. But black women, for most cases, go to university, acquire knowledge so they can be an opposition to their husband. Say, oh, I actually don't need you. I can do it all by myself. Let me repeat myself. White women will go to university to meet her husband. She'll become great. She'll get a job. She will rise up the ladder so she can support her husband. In most cases, black women, surprisingly, will go to university. So later on, they can say, oh, I don't need a man. I can do it all by myself. Now, unfortunately for this man, he's being investigated. The UK policeman, originally from Nigeria, has been investigated because the video resurfaced while he was advising a Nigerian woman to not call the police on their husband, but manage it. This has sparked outrage from abused charities and social media users. They're angry. How can you say to women not to call the police? How can you do that? You should allow women to express themselves and call the police. You know the feminist group, how they do? They, they, they actually don't want families. They don't want an husband and no wife and a family they hate that in most cases they don't like that yeah they want to see a victim woman who's been saved they don't want a woman who's happy they don't like to see that unfortunately so the question we're asking you is this i mean this is nigeria okay like we said earlier if you are african if your country is part of africa we're going to talk about you we're going to bring everybody together we need to level up the mentality because the bottom line is when you make mess in a foreign land they don't say nigerians are making mess they say africans are making mess it doesn't matter whether you're Ghanaian, Ugandan, Kenyan. If you are making a mess, if you are doing something inappropriate in Denmark, in New Zealand, they don't say a Ugandan person. They will say an African person. And that includes all of us. Therefore, we're going to be included in your situation, in your country. And we're going to have something to say about that. Why are Nigerian women complaining about their men? I mean, Nigerians are supposed to be the giant of Africa. The, the most handsome man, the tallest man in Africa, Oga Kuku Baba. What happens? How do you explain? I don't get that. Now, apparently, every woman in the world wants a Nigerian man. At least every woman in Africa. That's what we see on TikToks. Some people say, every woman in Africa should have a Nigerian man. Now, should every woman in Africa have a Nigerian man, while Nigerian women, all they do is call police on their men? Why would you want a Nigerian man? I'm just asking an honest question. Why are Nigerian women calling on the police? They're not crazy. Or are they crazy? Maybe they're crazy. You can inform us. Are all Nigerian women crazy women? They have no head. They just call the police. So there must be some legit reason why they're calling the police on their men. Are Nigerian men violent perhaps toward their women? Are they aggressive? Are they touchy? Are they brutal? And that's why these women feel like they need to call the police on them because I don't, I don't know. Or are Nigerian women absolutely absurd? They just call the police. One of the two must be correct. Which one is it? Okay, we do understand also there's another perspective which is in some cases, it has been reported numerous times that when an African man, let me talk about Africans that like to travel. Not all Africans want to travel to the UK. Let me just clear that up, okay? Not all Africans want to run away from their countries and go live in the UK, okay? A lot of Africans, especially Africans that were colonized by the British, usually want to go live in the UK. If not necessarily living, at least want to be in the UK once in a while. Africans were colonized by the French like Ivory Coast and Benin and Cameroon will want to go to Paris at least once in a life. It's like Muslims wanting to go to Mecca. It's absolutely crazy. Anyway, what I'm saying is crazy the fact that Africans want to go see their colonizer's land. Now, what has been reported numerous times in the past is like when a Nigerian or an African man goes and lives in Europe and decides to marry a woman from Africa, usually the woman from Africa is very soft, very kind, very humble, very submissive. That's why most of the guys in Europe choose not to marry their country women in Europe or United States. They will prefer to go find a girl from Africa than bring her either to America or to London. Now, what happened in most cases as reported is that most of these girls, even though they get them from Africa, bringing them to Europe, within a very short time period, they change. They become very aggressive because now they know they're right. It's like if you try to tell her something that she doesn't like, or you tell her, listen, baby, I didn't like the sugar or the salt you put in the food, she calls the police on you. You say to her, oh, baby, why did you shower and you left the shower open? She calls the police on you. Baby, why didn't you wash my clothes? I'm not your domestic worker. She calls the police on you. Baby, why is my food so salty? I'm not your cook. She calls the police on you. That's crazy. And many people, many African men that live in Europe or America feel like they have nothing else to do because the more you bring these girls, to some of these countries, they change on you, they turn on you. I mean, we've seen a video here recently 
of a Nigerian man making a video saying that his woman came into the country because he called her to the country. He was involved in something illegal and wasn't paying tax. When him and his woman fought, she went to accuse him to the police, telling the police that my man is busy with some illegal activities and he's not paying tax. The guy was taken by the UK police and sent back to Nigeria, even though the man brought her to England. Now, I have two things to say about that. I know naturally you say she's such an ungrateful human being. How can you do that to somebody that's brought you in from your village? You know, what's that place where water rises? Like, your man took you from here. Look at this place. Your man took you from here to take you to this. Let me repeat myself. Let me take you from this place where the water's everywhere and the rats and the snakes. I hope there's no snakes. And take you to this place. You see that? And then you go and you tell on him. What kind of a person are you? And I can understand many people saying that. It makes no sense. You're ungrateful. Why would you do that? Even though he's doing illegal stuff. Isn't it through those illegal stuff that he paid your flight ticket? You and your siblings. That is something I can understand. But I can also understand that just because you paid my flight ticket, does it mean you should mistreat me? Or you should treat me like a dog? I'm not a dog. Or you should continue being illegal. It's, uh, I think some people can want to be illegal for a little bit, then be legal. I mean, you can be illegal for a little bit because of some reasons. Life was hard. Things were difficult. I mean, we've seen some prostitute. She prostituted herself for six months because she was going through difficulties. Then later on, say, you know what? I think this is not about, this is, yeah, this is not me. I'm done. And she's honest enough to say, hey, I, in the past, I did do that for six months because I was going through stuff. But now I'm done. So why can these people who do illegal things because they need money urgently at least stop after six months, they say, okay, you know what? I think I got to what I was looking for. Let me know, just be legal. Anyway, so this poor guy from Nigeria who was speaking in Yoruba to Nigerian women, telling them to stop calling the police on your man. Please stop. The police of the UK is tired of you. you do you guys not understand why conservatives don't like Africans and foreigners? Because you go to other people's countries and you start doing things they don't do themselves. Then you complain saying they're racist. No, they're not. You are out of your space. When you go to a place, everybody's dressed in white. Well, you better be dressed in white. You can't go to other people's place and try to impose yourself and force your culture. South Africans accuse Nigerians of being too arrogant, too full of themselves. They come to the country, they don't learn the language, they want to speak English, they want to impose themselves, they don't want to be on a queue because in South Africa, for most cases, you see people on a queue to the ATM. People stand on a queue to the bus stop. So you don't just come and run and pass everybody and go in. Because I'm Nigerian. Now, my question is very simple. Are these women all crazy? Are they out of their space, out of their mind? They're just acute, they're ungrateful because for most cases, probably the man was the person that invited her. Now she's grown, you know, muscles to call the police because she's learned that she can call the police. Are they all crazy? Or maybe are the Nigerian men some kind of way? Aggressive, disrespectful, menacing, and we don't know about that. Now, should a woman shut her mouth when a husband is menacing and aggressive? Just because he's a husband and brought her for That's another question. Should women close their mouth and say nothing just because you paid my flight ticket to this place? I should accept anything. You're coming at 4 o'clock in the morning. You're seeing other women. You're coming home with funny diseases on your... You know what I mean? Should you just stay quiet because, well, I must be grateful because your family know mine. Let me know how you feel about this. It's always a great pleasure. God bless.